What's up guys, this is Rack and Load and at last another Airsoft review. God, it seems like it's been ages. And kicking off with something very cool indeed. This is the ASG P10C CZ. Six millimeter Airsoft pistol. Very, very cool indeed. CO2, it, there's the box. There, there's your unboxing, so to speak. Uh, jumping straight into a full review. I've been using this for quite a bit. This is kindly on loan from JD Airsoft here in the UK. And I've had some pretty cool fun uh, with this little pistol. Although I have got a little gripe, which was a little bit annoying, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But in the box, you obviously get your pistol. You get some front and rear, uh, I call them back and front straps for the... Um, no, I think they're just rear straps, actually. Back straps to take off uh, from the rear of the pistol to sort of make the grip, you know, to suit your hand size. So you get some spare ones in there. But very, very cool indeed. Um, CO2, like I said. Uh, I'm not sure if this, this might have some gas in it. Uh, just to show you guys. There's no BBs in there, but... That's how you load your BBs. Your CO2 is in um, sort of underneath there. So I don't think there's one in there. No, there's not one in there. So you use an Allen key to undo that, drop your CO2 in, your 12 gram CO2 cartridge, crank it up until it sort of, you hear it sort of pierce. And then it's a matter of just loading in your BBs. Um, I generally sort of hold, hold that back and use a, um, a BB loader just to gently put them in. That's how I load them. I know some people load them from the top or whatever, but but that's how I do it. Very, very cool looking replica of the CZ P10. Very, very cool indeed. Obviously, blow back. Everything works just like on the real steel version. Lot fully licensed by CZ as well. Very cool indeed. Obviously, with the mag in, it gives it a lot more weight, a lot more feel. Um, I was using this with the open sights, um, the iron sights, which are fitted on it. Well, the front one's on it anyway, but you can drift out the rear. Now, this pistol did come with the... Um, with this plate, this red dot plate, and I thought, brilliant! I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be able to throw on an aim point because I've got a few aim point, real steel aim points to uh, to test out. Uh, they wouldn't fit to this plate, so I'm. I believe ASG tells me that I think the plates are slightly um, not within spec if that makes any difference i think they had slightly different plates done for these or there was something something awry with with these um red dot uh, mounting plates so um i couldn't fit any of my pistol red dots to this which was a bit of a pain so i'm not sure whether they're changing that but it, it is what it is i just put the uh, rear sight on and just used irons and I had good fun sort of um using the iron sights but full metal um, slide all polymer lower you've got like a, a bit of rail on the bottom here to attach a laser or a light or whatever you want um, Glock style trigger with the safety catch within the, the uh, trigger blade as I always say whether it's airsoft or real steel I never really like safety catches on the trigger or around inside the trigger guard i just feel like it's having the gas pedal right on top of the brake pedal or vice versa it's i don't know it, i know it is an added feature and i know there is um your, your normal sort of safety catch underneath but i don't know i know a lot of um pistols a lot of uh, rifles are going like that as well i don't know I, it is what it is, it, you know, it is what it is. If this is real and, you know, you're in your holster in the gun, yeah, I get it. Or if it's a concealed carry, then it's an added sort of safety feature, isn't it? I, I do get it, but I don't know. 
it is what it is. But no, very, very cool indeed. The uh, slide locks back after the la last shot. Um, you have got an adjust, I think you've got an adjustable hop up on uh, this pistol. I can't for the life of me remember where it is. Let's get the manual right. What are you doing? Refer to the manual. I don't think I had to really adjust it much, if I'm perfectly honest. But it will tell me, this is the manual anyway. Uh, it tells you how to load the gas and all that there. Um, oh yeah, there's the uh, there's the hop up. So I did adjust it slightly. So it's like a little, a little lever in there. I don't even know whether you'll be able to see it very well on my camera. Uh, but there you go. That's your hop up in there. But no, a very cool, very well built little pistol. I've had some good fun with it. Um, I mean, it's the, the weather's only just sort of warming up here. So CO2 has always been a bit of a pain, um, you know, in cold weather, as we all know. Threaded muzzle as well. So you can throw on a mod of some description if you wanted to. Uh, I don't think you can actually take, you might be able to take this one down actually. Uh, I'm not going to do it myself. It doesn't say anything about field stripping. Um, mm, 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 mm. No, it doesn't say anything. I mean, you tinkerers will probably want to strip it down, but I'm not sure whether that, if I do it now, you guarantee guys, this is just going to, it's all going to fall to bits and I will never get it back. No, I'm not going to even attempt. I've probably got to take the mic out. Pull that down. Oh yeah, it will, it will come apart. I'm not going to do it though because I'll never get it back together. Or do you guys want me to do it and just laugh at me? I think you have to pull that down. Usually you have to lift up. It doesn't tell you in the map. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna leave it because it'll just <laughs> there'll be springs and stuff everywhere. But if you if you need to, it looks like you can strip it down. But you know, as far as lubrication and stuff goes, you can sort of get in under the slide anyway to sort of do all that. But but no, good fun little pistol is reliable. Uh, feels good in the hand. Um, you know, ambidextrous. Um, the slide release is ambidextrous. It's apart from well, the mag is the mag release isn't, but other than that, very cool. I do like those sort of dimples on um, the pistol grip. They really do sort of dig in and offer a lot of traction to the hand. But yeah, very very cool indeed. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. That is your rack and load review of the CZ P10C from ASG or Action Sport Games, kindly on loan from JDS off here in the UK. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed for all your firearm, shotgun, air gun and air soft videos and reviews and be sure to sign up on rackandload.com. It is the only social media website built for the shooting industry jump on there and you can put stuff up for sale or just chit chat with other people or just show off all your cool stuff that facebook will ban you for anyway thanks for watching that's rack and load see ya